Good afternoon, everybody. Um, what I've got here is another knife I'm taking along to the Blade Show here in 2012. Um, day after tomorrow, I'm headed down there, actually. And um, in getting this knife all completed, that of course, uh, I'm the knife maker, right? And uh, i got to talk about the knife, but there's two other guys involved in this knife right here, and that's Scott Teschner, who put together just another fantastic sheath. This one is... Um, a real finely tooled and stitched leather sheath with a cape buffalo inlay on the on the top half on the top half of the blade or top half of the sheath and his his uh, inlays wrap all the way around the sheath and are um, magically put into the uh, the sheath leather and then tooled and stitched and it's just fantastic now I'm gonna take my sheath out of here or might take my knife out of the sheath, and this is spalted maple. I um, hope I get we can show some chatoyance in the blade here. It's just really chatoyant. I I did some manipulating on the uh, some radial facets come up from the cutting edge up to an imaginary point here in the spine, and uh, mild steel hot blued guard. Of course, my knife is a takedown, and this. This uh, end grain spalted maple, this is end grain. And imagine looking at the end of a piece of firewood and cutting a slice off of the end of the firewood like a, you would a, a, a slice of bread off of a loaf of bread. This, we're looking at the, the face of that slice of bread. You're looking at the end of the, of the piece of firewood. This is end grain spalted maple, which my buddy Pete Crowell, um, my brother from another mother, Brother Pete, um, cuts maple trees down at the just at just the exact time of year when the sap's at the right amount, and he cuts this stuff up and leaves it out in the woods and, and uh, keeps it keeps it moist. And the spalting is sort of a a fungal activity that haps, happens when the uh, wood starts to decay. He's got to catch it just right, block it, dry it, stabilize it. It's quite a process, and um, I'm really honored to have some of Pete's spalted maple, despite being just a phenomenal knife maker in his own right. He's, he's doing this on the side, too, and I think it's, it's pretty unique. So thanks, Pete. Thanks, thanks Scott. Um, I hope somebody gets to, some of you folks can swing by, maybe see this in Atlanta. It's on my website. Um, of course, I splattered all over the forums. I take advantage of that every chance I can. Um, the double pin, double roll pinned handle, fully stabilized. This thing's just like almost like a piece of plastic when the end grain gets stabilized. And the hot blued guard. There we go. Here's our knife disassembled, and um, I can always show the the future owners how to waterproof these things. Um, it's a really pretty slick little process. Keep in mind this could go to somewhere real humid or somewhere dry even though even though this stuff is stabilized I gotta tell you folks it'll it'll move. It's not a hundred percent and what a person can do is is uh, you can watch this thing kinda go together. You can I snug her up good and tight, and this thing's, you can just back it off a little bit if you want. This stainless steel finial that I make, you can back that off. Let this handle relax. See, I just let that handle move, let it shrink or let it expand, contract, and then when you're ready to put it into use, we can waterproof it up and crank her and go to town. Anyway, Anderson Forge. Damascus knife, crawl handle material, Teschner sheath, what else could you ask for? See you in Atlanta.